Yo, what is good out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with a second video today. I'm going to be showing you how to actually do a teleport or get teleport the ability to warp from creator into an online session, any session you want, story mode, whatever you want. This is the creator teleport glitch. Unfortunately, it is only for PS4. All right, so I'm sorry Xbox guys, but TP is just not possible uh, on Xbox with this method. There's just no way they're suspending app and recent activities and you need both. So yeah, sorry, Xbox dude. So PS4 only, uh, if you got a PS4, then keep watching. If you don't watch anyways, all right. So you can actually see what's going on and maybe you might want to buy a PS4. You never know. So what I recommend basically is you need a few things. You're going to need a friend for this. All right. Creating the job and stuff that you can do that by yourself, but actually hitting the glitch, you do need a friend and your friend just needs to be in like a public session or a friend session or something inside of Titan of a job. All right. And he can be in the lobby screen or the other, you know, actually launched into the job. Either way will work. I recommend your friend fully launches into the job. But before you go ahead and you tell your friend to do that, or you, you can actually find a random person on your friends list and do it that that way as well if you really want to you can join off of a random but you need to make sure you're in the same targeting mode and that they're actually in a job that works all right most old contact missions and stuff old races work but most of the new jobs that were made in like the last year or two they definitely don't work like the new heists and stuff all that does not work so I definitely recommend that you have in you know a friend in communication just to make it a lot simpler to hit all right, so yeah, you just need your friend. We're gonna be creating the job. I'm gonna show you how to do all of it. It's basically all solo except for the fact that you need to join, you know, a friend and just for the alerts basically. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're gonna get started right here with this glitch. Now, what you see right here is this is me in story mode and I'm gonna go ahead and actually go straight to creator, all right? So maybe right now for just creating the job, if you were online, yeah, just go straight to creator. Wherever you were, just go to creator so that you can make this job. Now I'm gonna go down to create a last team standing and once we finally load in here, you just wanna fill out these little simple things like the title and stuff, just put whatever you want. At first I was just gonna put that, but just in for, you know, video, just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to name it this. All right. So yeah, fill out the description, all those little, you know, sections on the left where you see that like hazard sign or that red sign, that means that you need to actually do whatever is there. Okay. So once you've gotten those three main things done, uh, I actually recommend to go and warp over to the, I mean, you can build the job right here in this little, like little intersection or wherever it spawns you, but I like to have a lot of space. So if you just press pause, you can see that you can actually warp. That's the function that we're getting. So I'm going to go ahead and warp right over to the airfield all right lsi and uh now we got a bunch of space so here we go placement you can place a trigger pretty much anywhere just put it you know right here on the runway if you want to do it exactly like i'm doing it go ahead uh take the picture for the camera uh now the area all right the area bounds you want to go ahead and then to the to the right of the start point just go ahead and place that right there then go to team start points and while you're hovering over team one you want to go ahead and place four of these start points right next to each other uh, around the, uh, you know, kind of around the circle, all right, or the radius of that. And then you want to go to team two and do the same thing. Put four of them all right next to each other on the opposite side, okay? And uh, yeah, once you've done that, you can back out of that menu and you want to go to props and then you want to go here to these barriers, all right, these construction fences. We're going to be setting up a lot of these. So go and allow prop stacking, all right? You see where it says allow prop stacking? Make sure you flick that on. Go ahead and place one and then you can use L3 to actually adjust the height. L3 and R3 to adjust the height. And as you can see right there, that's what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm going up and then I'm using the R1 and L1 to actually rotate them. So you just slightly rotate, lift up and place. All right. And that's what you're going to do. As you can see, you're going to build kind of like a little spiral with these fences. And you basically want to place around 70. We'll just place 70 exactly. Okay. I really don't know if the amount matters that much, but this is the way that I create the job. Might be a little bit different than others, but I put 70 here. Once you've done that, 
you are pretty much done creating most of this stuff, I recommend you actually test it. Is this necessary? No, not at all. But I recommend that you test both teams and basically in a, in a LTS, when you test, one of the teams just has to fully die. All right. So it doesn't matter if it's your team or their team. As long as everybody on one of the teams dies, then you've completed it. So test both teams, both teams. Once you've done that, save it. And that's it. The job is completed. So it really doesn't take much to create this job. Now you want to go ahead and exit and before we go ahead and like try to hit TP, I recommend that you actually leave the job and then leave creator and go into an online session. All right. If you want to make it quick, then just go into an invite only, which is what I'm doing right here. Just press pause and go into an invite only session. Now the reason for this, it helps me. So I definitely included it in the video and it just helps with the timing of loading the job. All right. Cause there's a really important part. Uh, to hit this glitch and this does help out with that timing so once you load into an online session just go straight back to story all right and if you really want to you can even restart your game at this point and uh start back from a fresh you know game save or something like that that's totally up to you you can do it that way as well but this is the way that i like to hit it so once i'm back in story i'm gonna go ahead and press pause go to the online tab and head to creator and we're gonna get ready this is where you want your friend to go ahead and go into like a public session and then launch into titan of a job make sure that they're you know online so that you can see See them and join them okay and that's basically it uh you know for them for your friends so have your friend there now once in creator what you want to do is go to load creation then you want to head over to your saved creations and select the one that we actually just made so that's the one all the way on the bottom of the list for me now this is what we're going to be doing so i'm going to hover over this job i'm going to hold the options or start button whatever you want to call it and i'm going to select the job by pressing x and then about a second later you're just going to hesitate about a second maybe a half a second let go of pause so that the pause button can come up so here we go all right i'm going to select and then boom pause comes up if you see a loading icon in the bottom right you were too late you need to go faster Go to online and then go back and then start again okay but if you have hit it successfully like that and you don't have a loading icon you need to go ahead and find a recent activity with the star gta online option okay so right now i have found a bounty that will work and i'm gonna go ahead and hit star gta online don't worry nothing should happen you should just get back to the pause menu like this and you see that do it a few times what's happening is that the recent activity is actually in back in behind the pause menu okay in the back of it so once you've done that, make sure you got a friend to go ahead and join. I had to actually join into my friend's party real quick uh, before I got to this point. But uh, yeah, so I have done everything. This is the timing part. So I'm going to go ahead and hit join game, same targeting mode. I'm going to accept the first alert and I'm going to count about three seconds and deny the recent activity. If done correctly, you should be falling with a loading symbol at the bottom right. Once you start getting shot back up in the clouds, go straight back over to your PS menu and then start Spotify or whatever you want to do to suspend app, accept that alert and then come back to the game. It should load you into the job like this frozen okay so i know i went kind of quick there but just go back and rewatch it that part is tricky there is a little bit of timing but that's all you needed your friend for uh now you do need a friend as well in a different targeting mode so if that friend can go into a different targeting mode ask them or find somebody else on your friends list so i'm in free aim right now so I need to find somebody in assisted aim. So I'm pretty sure I found somebody. I'm going to go ahead and join them and accept the first alert, decline the second, should have a targeting mode. There we go. Now I'm not frozen anymore and I can actually do the uh, reset. Okay. So right now, this is the part where the reset comes into play. Go ahead and place down your trigger. All right. It always you know, gets taken off uh, when you hit this. So place your trigger down, then go to props, go to cycle items and press left on the D-pad once. Okay. And when you do that, it should lead you up on top of the barriers all the way on top. That's a good thing. You're good. All right. So now what you want to do is you press B to get out of the uh, prop section and then you go up to team start points now hover over cy uh, cycle items okay hover over this and what you want to go ahead and do is before we could just press left and you know the reset was nice and easy now it's a little bit different so while you're hovering over cycle items find your team start point that you placed in the beginning when we just loaded into the job all right hover over that and press the big select button to change your camera angle to go into third person so now i'm in third person this is what you want to do. It's really simple, but just listen. What you want to do is press down on the D-pad and then quickly press left D-pad. So down, left. So here we go. I'm going to press down, left. And look what just happened. See that? I had another character spawn in. That's one of the things that can happen. You can have a car spawn in or both. Okay? So if a car, a character, any weird little thing spawns in like that, that means you reset creator. If you press pause, should say creator there. You can just go ahead and simply, you know, head to online. 
Now you can either go into, you can go into whatever session you want basically, but uh, yeah, an invite only session just for the purpose of the video, just to make it quick. So you guys can see that everything is working properly and that, yeah, this is legit, man. Teleport, warp, whatever you want to call it. You know, they're all, they all apply to this, but uh, yeah, as you can see right here, when I press pause, it says I'm in creator and I have the warp option at the bottom right instead of a waypoint. So wherever I want to go on the map, I can just hit X and then I will be able to teleport there. All right. It takes a second to load depending on how far you, uh, you know, you teleport away but that's pretty much it guys that is how you actually do this tp you know creator warp uh glitch all right pretty simple now if you want to keep tp here's the thing you cannot go back to creator if you go to creator then you've messed up the glitch and you would have to restart from the beginning and do it again okay so don't head to creator if you want to keep this uh you can go to story you can go into any online session you can go into jobs heists like you can do whatever you want now what i recommend with a glitch as powerful as tp use it for good man go do crate missions you know like i know that we got pr primarily glitchers here on the channel but you wouldn't believe how fun crate missions are when you have tp all right like we used to do crate missions back in the day to just grind out for money but with tp it's way better so use this for good don't use it for trolling all right i don't recommend that at all uh you can get banned you can get you know reported all that stuff all right for being you know a bad player uh but yeah that's gonna be it guys i hope you enjoyed the video uh my name is roll easy please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope gta 5 online content we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers shout out to beat junkies for tp peace